Almost there. I've got We're gonna be hands. Okay. I've got I hands. You. Both of you. We love you too. I don't love you. Oh my god! Ooh, look over there. Hold on! Uh, we should probably be going down now, guys. Fallout 4 on release was one of the most immersive games out at the time. It was a beautiful game. And when Skyrim came out, again, beautiful, beautiful game by Bethesda. Uh, the VR ports for both of those games are absolute dog uh, we, I think we can all admit that. Skyrim and Fallout 4 have two things in common. One, they were made by Bethesda. And two, their VR counterparts are completely unplayable without a whole load of mods. And that's what we're gonna do here today. I'm gonna to show you how to mod Fallout 4 using Vortex Mod Manager and using Nexus, the modding website. Now, if you haven't seen it already, have a look at the link in the description and you will see a guide on how to mod Skyrim effectively and easily. You will also see a link to our Discord. Jump in and say hello. And last but not least, if you find this video useful or helpful, please think about dropping us a like or a sub. Now I am always going to recommend that you start with a fresh installation, a fresh install file. Make sure that you do not have any mods downloaded for the original Fallout 4 or for the Fallout 4 VR because there can be conflictions. So we are starting fresh. Once you have the game installed, it's recommended that you play through the tutorial part until you are out of the vault. Now this is the vanilla port that Bethesda have tried to give us and as you can see it is garbage! I have no hands, I'm just a floating gun and a floating Pip-Boy. Bethesda could have done so much more to make this an immersive game, but you know what, they didn't. However, the modding community did. So, once you've reached this point and you've spoken to Codsworth, save your game and exit it. Now you're going to head over to nexusmods.com, you're going to make yourself an account and you're going to log in. And once you've logged in, you're going to search for Vortex Mod Manager. Once you've downloaded it, install it and run it. And with Vortex running, go back to Nexus Mods and re-log in. And what it's going to do is it's going to connect Vortex to Nexus and that'll allow you to download mods directly from Nexus by clicking one button and that'll automatically apply it to the profile we're about to set up. Now that I have Nexus and Vortex connected, I'm going to reopen Vortex Mod Manager and here you can see I've got Skyrim as my managed game, but that's okay. I'll go over to games on the left hand side and I will search for Fallout 4 VR and I will click manage. Now don't take any notice of all the error codes on the right hand side that is all to do with Skyrim. If you look on the left hand side we're going to select modding once VR Fallout 4 is selected and you will see a blank slate to work with. Now the first mod that we're going to download is FRIK. And we're also going to download the FRIK New Game Crashes and Fixes. Now on the right hand side you'll see download via Vortex. Click that button and because Vortex and Nexus are connected it'll automatically download. Now there are going to be some dependencies. You need to download these dependencies and the most important one of all is going to be the script extender. Now if we weren't modding VR version we would use the one above but as you can see I've selected the VR version of script extender. Now script extender does have to be manually downloaded so I've popped it on my desktop for the time being. However the next dependency which is the Fallout VR tools can be directly downloaded into Vortex. So we're going to click download into Vortex. And now that we open Vortex, you can see that it is automatically download VR tools into Vortex. We are now going to drag and drop the manually downloaded script extender into this box to install that as well. Now we have both of these files in our mod manager. They're not completely installed yet, but they are there. If we click on them, we can activate them, install them, and that will apply them to our VR profile. Now here's a little bit of troubleshooting. This may not happen to you, but if it does, this is how you fix it. Essentially, Vortex doesn't have a staging area for my mods. Even though they're installed, they have nowhere for them to stage. So this is how we fix it. 
On the left hand side of Vortex Mode Manager, we're going to select Settings, we're going to select Mods, and here you can see it says no deployment method available. So, if we click the little folder icon, we can decide where we want to go. So I'm going to go over to my computer and I'm going to go to my Z drive and I'm going to make a new folder here. I'm going to name it FO4 Mods. I'm going to select it and that's going to be the new staging area. Now with the new directory selected, I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click apply there too. And that's going to allow us to have a staging area for the mods. Now guys, so far we have downloaded and installed the dependencies for FRIK. That's Fallout 4 VR tools and Fallout 4 script extender VR. Now go over to FRIK, click Vortex download and actually download it this time. Now, like we've just done for the dependencies, make sure that you left click inside Vortex and make sure you install the mod. Now, this is the last important detail. Go over to the install file where the executable is for Fallout. And you'll see there a file called F4SEVR Loader. That is your Fallout for Script Extender VR Loader. Create a shortcut for that Put it on your desktop and make sure that you set it to run as administrator. Now the shortcut here is how you are going to be starting Fallout 4 VR every single time when it is modded. With everything done, what you're going to do is you're going to connect via Airlink or whatever it is you do to connect to your computer using your Quest 2, Quest 3, whatever it is. And then you're going to start Steam VR first. And with Steam VR, open you can then open the script extender shortcut which you have just created and that will launch the game modded and that is everything you need to know guys so frik gives you hands and gives you a body so you are so much more immersely and best in the game there are a whole bunch of other mods that i'm going to list through now and you know just go onto vortex knock yourself out just make sure you always download the dependencies that are required also be aware that there are some mods which conflict but you can just uninstall them using the vortex mod manager now that's vrik let's have a look at some other mods you can download or that i would recommend vr optimization project virtual holsters v2 virtual chems True Storms Wasteland Edition, which is incredible for having insane thunderstorms at nighttime. See-through scopes, which is very helpful in VR because it allows you to actually see through the scopes on your guns. And there are also a whole lot of other gun mods like the AK-74M Assault Rifle, the Mark 14 EBR, the RU-556 Assault Rifle, and the SCAR Heavy, which is an awesome gun to have. All of these can be made in stations in the game. And these are just some of the mods I'd recommend. Have a look and knock yourself out. Now guys, as usual, I really hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, do drop them in the comment section or join the Discord and ask me in person. And don't forget guys, if this video has been helpful for you, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button and i'll see you in the next one bye bye